Got these packs ripping. Excited to rip some of this Panini Prism. Never done that before. Been looking forward to it. Hunted for it today. Was able to find all four packs in a Rite Aid. So I'm pretty excited for that. Got this Football Collector's Edge. Found that out of Walgreens. And all the Heritage Baseball packs here. We found these in a couple different Walgreens and uh, Dwayne Reed. So hoping it should be uh, a good night tonight. Hoping to have some fun. And uh, if anybody's here, just, you know, give me a chat. Say hello. And uh, ready or not, here we come in a moment. We're going to start ripping packs. So, like I said, my first time ripping these Panini Prisms. Uh, been watching a couple of videos online. I know we can get some good stuff. Hoping to find some Lamelo Balls. Uh, some rookies. That'd be fun. And, uh, yeah, without any further ado, uh, let, let's just start ripping these packs. I want to rip one of these real bad. So, this should be fun. So I've never opened one of these before, so might be a bit clumsy on ripping the outer pack, but we'll make it work. Here we go. We're in. So for anyone who hasn't seen these before, these actually come with two packs in them. You have your first pack with your 12 cards and then your bonus pack, which is going to contain the red, white, and blue cards. So we're going to open the regular prism first. And then, uh, then we'll open the red, white, and blue uh, bonus pack afterwards. So, hopefully this goes well for me. Dorian Finney-Smith, Tyus Jones, Malcolm Brodon, Jalen Brown, Jordan Poole, P.J. Washington Jr., for our silver, we got Shaq. Shaq Diesel, baby. All right. Marcus Smart for our green. Tyler Hero, sophomore stars. Oh, my gosh. Look at look at this. Look at this. What did I say I wanted? I said it. I said, let me get a LaMelo ball. And the first pack I ever rip of this product. Here it is. Here's LaMelo. Wow. Incredible. Ricky Rubio. And Tyrell Terry. Wow. That that that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. <laughs> could could not be happier. Let me get these into some sleeves. I I asked for it and, and literally on the first pack. I don't believe it. First pack magic. You know, that I feel like there's something to be said for first pack magic. We're gonna sleeve the sophomore Tyler Hero. So I've never ripped any basketball before. This is my first ever basketball rip. First ever Panini Prism rip basketball. I mean, I don't I don't know what more. I mean, I guess I could ask for like a LaMelo Auto. I guess that would have been better. But, I mean, I'm a 90s kid. I grew up, grew up with Shaq Diesel. To get Shaq Diesel as my, as my silver. To get LaMelo in the first pack I rip. We haven't even ripped the red, white, and blue packs, so just su super excited for that. Let's let's just go over these one more time. We got the Marcus Smart, the Tyler Hero sophomore stars, the Lamelo Ball rookie base, and the Shaquille O'Neal Shaq Diesel. Super excited. That was very cool to see. All right, now let's open up the bonus pack. You get your three red, white, and blues in here. So we're hoping for LaMelo. Again, we're hoping for some other rookies, maybe a Wiseman. Um, but let's let's see what we get. Terrence Ross, Laurie Markaken, and uh, Grant Ryler. So a rookie from the Hornets, just just not the right one. Um, just, just not the right one. Uh, but still a rookie nonetheless, so we're, we'll sleeve that. Definitely sleeve that. So, uh, what did you miss? What did you miss? All right, well, let me show you what you missed. Let me just show you that. That's a LaMelo Ball rookie right there. First pack I've ever opened. There it is. LaMelo Ball. Wow. Wow. We also got a Tyler Hero Sophomore Stars. 
Marcus Smart Green. And then our Shaq Diesel. I mean, Shaq Diesel, baby. Wow. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Let's keep ripping. Well, hopefully I open this one a little smoother than the last one. Oh, yeah. I'm like a pro at this already. One pack I fumbled, but now we're ready. Put the red, white, and blue to the side. Let's hope for some more heat, man. That first pack, heat. Let's hope for some more right here. Do it like all the, the good streamers do, all the good breakers. Open it with that, with we'll C in the back. I'm working on that. I'll, I'll get better at that. I'll get better at that. There it is, right, baby? Cameron Johnson, Rudy Gay, Blake Griffin, Shake Milton, Giannis. I can't even say his last name. Villanakis. Um, I butchered that. I'm sorry. Ja Crowder. Kenyon Martin Jr. That's a nice pull. That's a nice pull. Rookie card. Our green is Derek Jones Jr. Our emergent is Devin Vassal. We got another rookie, Ty Tyrese Halliburton, another one of the good rookies that you could get out of this pack. Jabari Parker, and then another rookie, uh, Jaden McDaniels of the Timberwolves. So we'll sleeve these up. So we're getting so we've gotten some good rookies already. Super exciting. Halliburton is another solid rookie that you're looking for in this product. Show that off the best I can. There it is. We got our emergent card, our insert, rookie Devin Vassal. Our green for that pack, Derek Jones Jr. Again, I got the I got, I got this pack uh ten dollars a pack at the local Rite Aid. They had four of them. I went in last week and asked them to order me some sports cards. They said they were gonna order because they had watched them place the order, baseball, football, and basketball. They only had basketball, but uh, but I'm not complaining. And then our silver is uh, Kenyon Martin Jr. Uh, rookie card. Very nice, very nice. Now we'll open the uh, the red, white, and blue pack. Kevin Porter Jr. DeAndre Jordan. Og Abunye. I know I'm butchering his name. I'm not a crazy big basketball guy, so I don't know all the players' names. You know, I don't know everybody. Uh, obviously, I know the stars, but I don't know everybody, so I'm probably going to mispronounce some names. But with practice, I'll get there. I'll get there with practice. So we'll put the red, white, and blue to the side. we got our 12 cards in here. Looking for some more gold. Some more hot stuff. Let's see if we can get it. Blake Griffin. Jackson Hayes. Contavious Caldwell Pope. Jay Crowder. Lamarcus Aldridge. Shame he had to retire due to the heart condition. Karis Levert. JJ Reddick is our silver. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. Look at the green. Magic Johnson. One of the best to ever play the game. Unbelievable. Nikola Djokovic, uh, Nikola Djokic is a dominance insert. Jaden McDaniels, rookie. Jalen Smith, rookie. And Anthony Edwards, rookie. Wow, very nice. An another really solid pack. Uh, I don't know, are they all this hot? Guys, let me know in chat. Or, or if you're watching this on the YouTube, not in the live stream, let me know in the comments. Are, are are your packs this hot, or or am I just getting blessed for some some rookie mag or some rookie pack magic just to reel me in and have me buy more of these, whether it's through retail or through the secondary market? Because right now, yeah, I want to open more of these. These these packs have been real hot, really excited right now. Um, just just some really good cards. I mean, 
you ask for the Lamella Ball, right? Which which is the best card you're probably going to get in this pack in terms of un, in terms of base and it, uh, you know unsigned cards, right? Your best base unsigned card is probably going to be that Lamella rookie. And uh, I grab it first pack. I grab it first pack. I mean that that that's pretty exciting. So can't uh, cannot complain on that. We'll get uh, JJ in his sleeve. We'll move on to the red, white, and blue. So here's our red, white, and blue. Yeah, man, JJ. Open it with the back. Just like all the big time streamers do it. George Hill. Did Junte Murray. And a Fred Va Freddie Van Fleet. All right. Freddie Van Fleet's pretty good. There we go. Our last our last prism pack. Opening these like a pro now. That first pack was, I'll, I'll admit it, man. That first pack was a struggle, but now, no problem, man. Now, no problem at all. Feel like a pro. Rip it backwards so you can't see what it is. And let's hope for some more magic. Here we go. Victor Oladipo. Saduk Dumbuya. Gary Harris, and for uh, Onferni Hardaway, Marquise Chris, Matthias Thibault. Our silver is George Hill, Nerlens Noel for our green. Peyton Pritchard is our emergent. Evan Forner, and then our rookie we got Jordan. Uh, Nora and uh, and a Bradley Beal and a Bradley Beal very nice very nice so let's sleeve these these couple up and we'll go on to our red white and blue so not not as hot as some of the other packs but uh but that first pack land, landing that base lamello I mean no complaints there no complaints at all. Hopefully, I'd like to get one fire, red, white, and blue. We haven't really pulled any fire in terms of red, white, and blue, but hopefully that'll uh, that'll change for us real soon right now, and uh, we'll get something fire out of these red, white, and blues. Doesn't even have to be a fire rookie. You know, I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd take a, you know, a LeBron at this point. You know, not that LeBron's settling. That's a great card, but... I'm not even asking for rookies, you know. I'll take great veterans still. I know you can get Luka Dantich in these red, white, and blues. That would be cool to pull. Here we go. John Wall. Okay. That's a that's a good veteran player. Jamal Murray, another solid player. And a magic. We got two magics. Look at look at this magic though. This this is a beautiful card. Centering little little more on the right. A little more space on the right. It's definitely not perfectly centered. Um, but a real real nice magic. I mean, the corners look good. Surface of the card looks clean. There's the back of it. So that's that's a hit. That's a hit. I, uh, you know, you can't, can't complain when you get a Hall of Famer twice. And, uh, and it's one of the best Hall of Famers. One of the best to ever do it. Uh, magic Johnson. So nice hit. We'll sleeve up this John Wall and this Jamal Murray as well. Wow. Okay. So let me move all the, the base cards out of my way. Move all these base out of my way. We'll recap what did we just pull. And uh, bump my camera there. We'll recap what we just pulled, and we'll move on to our next product. We'll move on to the next product, which uh, which is going to be the Football Collector's Edge. I know that's not a shiny, flashy product, but you never know. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe we pull some heat. It does say on the bottom, one in every four pack contains a hit, right? So maybe, maybe we got the hit pack. You never know. Maybe we got the hit pack. Um, we'll just lay that heritage baseball down. We'll open that after the football. 
So we'll just go over what we pulled. The Emergent, Peyton Pritchard, the George Hill, the, the, the Silver, the New Orleans Noel in the green, the Marcus Smart in the green, the Tyler Hero Sophomore Stars, the Bell of the Ball, the LaMelo Ball. <laughs> the centering looks uh, really good on this one. Really, really great on this card. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to have that to my collection. Uh, definitely the best basketball card I've ever pulled. Granted, tonight was the first time I'd ever pulled basketball. Um, it's just it's a lot easier to find football and baseball, you know. And then basketball obviously has the biggest markup on the secondary market. And uh, you know, I like to pull. I like to open stuff that I like. You know, I'm not just gonna open stuff just to open it because that's what's you know hot or whatever. I like to open what I enjoy, and, I, and baseball is my first love, followed very closely by football, so I'm going to definitely rip more of that than, than I will anything else, but I do like basketball. I'm a Knicks fan. I'm excited the Knicks are making the postseason this year. The, the organization made the right call with hiring Thibodeau. Um, hopefully the Knicks continue to, to play strong and get a couple of wins in the, uh, in the postseason. I don't expect them to win a series. I don't expect them to go to the NBA Finals like some people have said. I think that's crazy. Uh, but but I think winning a game or two in the first round is not is not out of the realm of possibility. I don't think it's asking for too much, and uh, and I think it's something that the New York Knicks are definitely capable of doing under the uh, the the excellent coaching of Coach Tom Thibodeau. So let's let's open this football edge. Uh, it says look for randomly inserted cards, packs, parallels, autographs, and more. One in four contains a hit. And that's really all it says. So. Let's see if ours is the one and four that contains a hit. The Walgreens I got it from said they hadn't received cards in a month. So this had been, for based off that estimation, th this pack was there for a month. So it's all glued together. That's Is that a good or a bad sign, right? Is that good or bad mojo? Because the, the top piece is all glued on. You can't even open that. So I wonder if that's a good sign or a bad sign. I see two packs in here. Get that out of here. Ugh. So let's see what our packs are. Our first pack, uh, there's a card stuck behind it. Hold on, we'll put that down. There we go. First pack is LSU trading cards from the Collegiate Collection. First edition, eight players. I wonder what year this is from. Feels and looks older. I don't see a date on here. Okay. And our other pack is Ohio State. It's from Panini. Okay. It, it, it says 815. So I'm wondering if this is from 2015. That's what that looks like. So 2015. Okay. We'll open those last. Let's uh, let's 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 take a look at the loose cards that are in there. Let's see if we get anything good. I, I don't have high expectations. I don't have any expectations for this. Um, is our first card an auto? No, I, I think it's a facsimile. I'm trying to tell. I'm gonna pull it off camera just for another second, just so I can get a better look at it. And I'll bring it right back. I can't tell. I can't tell if that's a real auto or a facsimile. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think in the chat or the comments if you're watching this in the YouTube upload. Is that a facsimile or is that a real auto? I don't know. Uh, that's Ty Hill, though. Leslie O'Neill. Kelvin Bryant. Ricky Sanders. <laughs> Blackjack Del Rio. Look at that. Blackjack Del Rio. Okay. That's cool. We'll put him in a separate pile. We'll put him and the facsimile, possibly real auto in their, in their own pile together. Okay. Stanley Sheriff Richard. Crunch Crew. Zoom. Mark Robinson. Albert Lewis. Fred Stokes. Dennis Gentry, and th these cards are older. I'm going to look. These are these are old score cards. Rob McGovern, I'm going to take a look, see what year these are from. 
These are 1990 scorecards. I had to pull it off camera so I get a better view. 1990 scorecards. Simon Fletcher. And there's a lot of other different types of stuff inserted in here. Rowan Stark. Randy Grimes. Vincey Glenn. Hang on, we got something from 2008. What do we got here from 2008? Brian Westbrook. Okay. This is the 2018 NFL rushing leaders, LaDainian Tomlinson, Adrian Peterson, Brian Westbrook, Willie Parker, Jamal Lewis, Clinton Portis, Edwin James, Willie McGinnis, Fred Taylor, and Thomas Jones of the Jets. I'm a Jets fan, so. Okay, we'll put that over there for now. Why not? Brad Johnson. <laughs> oh, Rondé Barber, look at this. Pulled another Brian Westbrook. Dion Branch, Tim Harris, Otis Anderson, Tommy Agee, definitely some older older players here. Bill Frelick, make sure to follow. Oh, yeah, man, please please do follow, follow, like, comment, subscribe if you're watching the YouTube. Uh, Rob Carpenter. I appreciate the love, Telcel. I appreciate it. Rashad Bateman. Joseph Osai. And this is a 2021 premiere draft. Yeah, this is 2021. So, okay. This is a nice car. We got a Trey Lance. We got Trey Lance, baby. Going to San Diego. Uh, San, San Francisco, rather. Okay, that, that next card is an auto. That, that we have. Not this one. The, the Jalen Darden. But th this next card is an autograph. That is an auto. I don't know who that is. It says Brown. But I don't know who what, what his first name is. Andre. Oh, wow. Andre Brown. Okay. Numbered 772 out of 850. So this is, what, 2009, I believe. Yeah, 2009. Yeah, he, he hasn't been in the league for a while. But hey, look at this. The Walgreens pack gave us a, a rookie auto. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not not somebody we, we would covet, but, but hey, man, rookie auto still a rookie auto. One of the greatest kickers of all time, if not the greatest, Adam Benatari. Look at that. We got Trey Lance. Now we're pulling a Jimmy G. Terrell Suggs, future Hall of Famer. Jared Goff, now of the Lions. Everson Griffin. Is this a Joe Burrow draft card? Hold up. That's a Joe Burrow rookie card. Look at that. A, Le a Leaf rookie, Joe Burrow, baby. All right. LaVisca Chanel, rookie card. Henry Ruggs, rookie card. Khalil Tate. And a Jerry Judy All-American rookie card. I mean, that's those are some good pulls. I mean, like, obviously, some of the junk cards are, are just that, junk cards. But, I mean, we got a rookie auto. Granted, it's from a, a guy who's not in the league anymore and wasn't in the league for very long when, when, when he was here. But, but, hey, man, rookie auto is a rookie auto out of a $5 Walgreens pack. I got Henry Ruggs here. I got Jerry Judy, the All-American card. I mean, I know it's Leaf. I know Leaf is a is a lesser product, and it's not something a lot of people covet. I like Leaf. I think it's a cool way to get yourself some of the rookies guaranteed. I, I bought myself a couple of packs. We'll open those on another stream. I opened one on my first uh, RIP stream looking for the Trevor Lawrence or Zach Wilson rookies. Um, didn't find them. But uh, but I'll still be hunt hunting. I've got four more boxes. I'll probably open at least two more. I would say I'm going to open at least two more of the, the Leaf Draft Football 2021. Um, at least two more. So you guys will be able to see that in a future stream, future video. There's your Trey Lance. What's nice about them drafting Trey Lance, them being um, the Niners, he, he doesn't have to play for a year or two. 
you know, Jimmy G did take that team to a Super Bowl. Um, so, so they're not, and they haven't gotten rid of him yet. I mean, listen, they could trade him tomorrow, and that that statement's completely irrelevant. But from from what it looks like right now is, it doesn't look like he's going to play the first year. He may not play at all the second year. So he'll he'll have time to learn the college, uh, the, the 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 pro game from the transition from college. Um, so I think that that'll be good for him. I mean, athletically, guys, a, a super good athlete. Um can make all the throws. It's it's learning the, the 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 mental part of the game. It's learning the playbook, how to read NFL defenses. Uh, cuz the thing you always hear guys say, right? The, what's the biggest difference between the college and the pro game? It's the speed of the game, right? It's the speed of the game. So trying to learn how to how to play at a fast pro level will definitely be his biggest challenge. Just like it will be for all the rookies. Um, so this is the Ohio State pack from looked like 2015 so I don't know remember any great Ohio State players from 15 um, so maybe there will be maybe we'll be surprised maybe there'll be somebody like oh how did I forget him but we'll see Jeff Human, Jake McQuaid Brian Hartline okay I know him I know Ted Ginn Jr. Uh, I know Dante Whitner Devere Posey Dan Hairline and Corey Lindsay. Okay. So I had heard of some of those guys before. That was good. That was good. I mean, nobody that I'm going to sleeve, but guys I had heard of at least. Let's open this LSU pack. I don't know what year this is from because it didn't have a year. So maybe Joe Burrow is in here. Maybe Jamar Chase is in here. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. A little promo card. Allegiant Collection. Okay, so Monk Glott, don't know who that is. Arthur Calandre, Billy Harrigan, Carl Dunbar, Sparky Wade. So this is basketball. Marie Jackson. What sport she play? I, I don't know who she is. So let's see what she. Uh, basketball. Okay, and she's Australian. Earl Leggett. Yeah. So I had not heard of a single one of those people. If anybody has heard of them, you know, let me know, uh, either in the uh, in the chat here in, on uh, on Twitch, or um, or if you're watching the YouTube version of this, uh, drop the name in the comments. Let let me know who who you've heard of, because I have heard of none of them. Now we're gonna open some hangers that I was able to get uh, uh, from Walgreens and Dwayne Reed Heritage Baseball hangers. Hopefully we get something good out of here. I haven't had any luck really with Heritage so far this year. Um, I've ripped some Heritage uh, Retail, some Heritage Hobby, Heritage Blaster, Herit and Heritage Hanger. I've ripped them all. And, and to be honest, I haven't had much luck. Um, I saw one guy on Reddit had a nice rip at, out of a Heritage Hanger, but... That was it. He got a, I believe it was an Acuna Auto, I want to say, if I remember correctly. On a, I saw that on Reddit. But, uh, I really haven't seen too much come out of these, so I have very low expectations. But then again, I had low expectations for that football pack, and that was pleasantly surprising. You know, we had the Burrow rookie, we had some of the receiver rookies, Trey Lance rookie, and all rookie auto. Granted, it wasn't one we wanted, but hey, rookie auto is a rookie auto out of a $5 pack, right? Scott Kingery, Luke Voigt, Nomar Maraza, Sonny Gray, Nick Solak, our NL batting leaders from 2020. John Means just lost to the Mets, but previous to that threw a no hitter. Pedro Severino. Our NL rookie stars, Luis Garcia and Kristen Pache, Ty Buttery, Jason Kipnis, Brandon Crawford, Jesus Lazaro, Michael Franco, Mitch Moreland. I felt like something was sticking. These are just a thicker card stock. Eloy Jimenez, Lucas Sims, Josh Lindenbaum. Flashback to 1972 when Bobby Fischer wins the World Chess Championship. Glad we got that card. Miguel Rojas with Merrifield. Victor Reyes, Joey Votto in action. 
Here we go. Jacob DeGoat, Bauer, the liar. I don't like him. And Aaron Nola, one of the more underrated pitchers in baseball. Aaron Nola, I mean, he's a division rival. I'm a Mets fan, so division rival, but but very underrated. Labor Torres in action. Ryan Mahome. Kyle Schwarber. Wilmer Flores. Again, I'm a Mets fan. He, he's got a sweet spot in my heart. Taylor Williams. We got our NL rookie star. Our, our 2021 rookie stars from the Yankees. I'm sorry. Albert Abreu. Miguel Yuri, And uh, Nick Wilson. Mookie Betts, Austin Hayes. We got a pool host. Yachty. And a Ryan Mountcastle rookie card. I've got a lot of Mount Mountcastle rook Mount Castle rookies. I've got two Mount Mountcastle rookie autos. That's a tongue twister for me right now for some reason. Yeah, he is a liar. Hell cell. He, you're right, he is a liar. He uh he trolled the Mets. He used the Mets to get the offer he wanted from his hometown club. And and, and I get it, man. Listen. Baseball at the end of the day is a business. Figured I should stop my train of thought while ripping that open. Um, I get it, man. Baseball is a business, and, and you're here to make money and, and, and all that good stuff. And I'm not going to knock the guy for getting paid. I'm never going to knock anybody for trying to make money. Um, but played the Mets, played the fan base, posted Mets stuff on his website for sale right before his Dodger announcement and... You know, oh, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. Was it? I don't know. I don't trust the guy. You know, he, he had, you know, he's, he's weird, man. He's done weird stuff off the field. He was harassing that girl on Twitter a number of years back. I don't know. Abram Toro, Nolan Arenado, Antonio Cinzaletta, Miguel Andujar. He faded out of greatness. He was a stud for the Yankees when he was a rookie. And uh, now he's back in the league. We'll see if he can do anything. Uh, Jake Cave, Justin Turner, Lane Thomas, Fernando Tatis Jr. I'm putting him to the side. Anytime you get a Tatis or someone like that, you got to sleeve that. One of my favorite players, Dom Smith, Austin Slater, Rick Porcello, Brett Anderson, Eric Thames, Verlander, Gregory Soto, Adam Hainsley, Jackie Bradley Jr., Taiwan Walker. Uh, in 1972, Jenkins logs his 20th win of the season for the car, for the Cubbies. You got your uh, 2021 rookie stars for the Yankees, but different ones. This time, Esson Floreal and Clark Schmidt. Vladdy Jr. in action. I'm putting him to the side. He's one of my favorite guys. Jorge Mateo and Edward Olivares. Another Tatis. I'm putting it to the side. I'm sleeving it. You can hate me for it. Reese Hoskins, Mookie Betts, Miggy, Will Smith again. Casey Mize. I got a lot of Casey Mize, too. Donovan Solano, Anthony Rizzo, Kyle Lewis. I'm sleeving that one. Garrett Cole, Anthony Santander, and Evan White. I'm sleeving him, too. And Max Muncy. Uh, th this card, th th this this pack, I feel like, was better than the last Heritage. So that was, I mean, an improvement, right? We're, we're stepping in the right direction. That was better than the last one. We got a couple of notable rookies. Nice. Uh, we got two Tatises in this pack, and and I'm a big fan of Tatis. So, and you guys will see that I'm, I have uh, some mail days coming up where you guys will see some cards, and uh, Tatis may or may not be included in that. That's a that's a spoiler. That's a preview that you guys will only get watching live on stream. You'll hear that before anybody. I haven't posted about that on social media or anything. Um, so if you're watching the stream now, you're getting a little inside look into what's to come. And there may, may be, uh, maybe some Tatis in the future. We'll do a mail day. See if FedEx comes. It all depends on FedEx. Vladdy Jr. I love him. Maybe there's some Vladdy Jr. in the mail day coming up. Maybe. Hint, hint, wink, wink. I don't know. But you were here in the stream. You, you heard about it live. Another Tatis. I do like, even though like the cards aren't great from Heritage, like I like this thicker card stock. I like the the older, the old school art style. So like, I know it's not like a fire pack. I know it's nothing like that's that's gonna you know break the the internet or anything. But I do enjoy the art style of the Heritage baseball. And uh, and I was able to find it, find it at retail. This, this is now taking place in the post-retail era for Walmart and Target. 
So you can't just walk into those stores or wait outside on a Friday and try to get cards like you could last week. This week, uh, no more. Now you gotta you gotta try to get it online when Target drops online. Hunt somewhere else for retail. Uh, or, or buy on the secondary market. Or try to, you know, if when Tops and Panini drops live on their websites, try to try to beat the bots and resellers and scalpers. Good luck. Uh, Jake Odorizzi, Mike Trout, obviously I'm putting that to the side. Uh, Mark McClellan, Tyler Naquin, uh, Dodgers World, uh, uh, Rays World Series, I'm sorry, Dylan Bundy, Matt Barnes, The Judge, McCutcheon, he used to be so good, Eduardo Escobar, Cabrian Hayes, Sean Mania, another Dom Smith. I love me some Dom Smith, so I'm not, not upset with that at all. Austin Slater, another Porcello, Anderson, Thames, ugh, Trevor Bauer, gross. Get him out of here. Then and now, Jim Palmer, Garrett Cole, Glaber Torres in action, uh, Ryan Mahone, Kyle Schwarber in action again. We just got that. I'm going to sleeve the Cabrian Hayes for sure. Seve, Nate Pearson will sleeve. Austin Meadow, Kershaw, Chavez, Sterling Marte. The 2020 NL ERA leaders, Ronald Acuna Jr., Albert Pujols, Jose Ramirez, and Adam Eaton. So another pretty good heritage pack. I mean, nothing... You know, crazy, no special inserts, no autos, no relic or patch cards. I like calling them patch cards. A lot of people like to call them relic cards. I feel like maybe that's the correct term, but I, I like patch. Um, you, if you guys have a preference, let me know in chat, or if you're watching this on the YouTube upload, uh, let me know in the comments below. What, what do you call them? Do you say patch? Do you say relic? Do you say patch relic? Do you not say anything? Because like me, you don't pull them, so you really don't have a reason to talk about them. Um, let me know, like I said, in the chat here, or you can let me know if you're watching this on the YouTube upload, uh, let me know on the YouTube upload. Hey, what do you, uh, what do you call it? So, but we did pull a Mike Trout. I mean, it's a base Mike Trout, but hell, Mike Trout's Mike Trout, right? No complaints there. And, uh, may maybe the mail day has some Mike Trout too. I don't know. I guess you'd have to tune in and find out. Uh, you know, I will be definitely doing more in-depth videos and live streams, whether it's mail day. I figured stop my my uh, my train of thought again while ripping that open. But we'll definitely be doing more videos and streams about my my personal collection and mail days. You know, things like that. Some individual slabs that I've purchased or or won or accumulated or anything like that. Definitely want to keep bringing you guys some great card content. Um, you know, I want to do a let's talk soon about the state of trading cards and where it is right now and the craziness that is the trading card world. Crazy Odd Scherzer, Tommy Edmond, yeah, your 2021 uh, Rookie Stars, Jesse Winkler, Pete Fairbanks, some more Rookie Stars, Nick Castellanos. He's fun to watch. He just plays a swagger and he doesn't care. He bat flips and I love bat flips. Gio Gonzalez, some more rookie stars. Alec Bohm is on there. Nice. Ryan Yarborough, some more rookie stars. Freddie Freeman, Jalen Beeks, more rookie stars. Glaber Torres, Jaime Barea, more rookie stars. Mark Canhanna, Mark Hanna. I know I'm saying that wrong. Sorry. Atari releases Pong. That's cool. Jeff Samarja, Josh Bell. Rafael Iglesias, Hansel Alberto in action, more rookie stars. We just got that card last pack. A Vladdy Jr., I'm going to sleeve it again. A Tatis, I'm sleeving it. Tim Anderson, I like watching him play a lot. Joey Bart, we're sleeving. Bo, I'm sleeving. Trout, I'm sleeving. Alec Mills, Jesus Sanchez, I'm sleeving. A rookie. And a Colton Wong. So I appreciate everyone tuning into the live stream who's here right now. Um, if you guys haven't, you know, if you haven't clicked the follow button for the uh, for the Twitch, I really would appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, if you can give a thumbs up, if you could subscribe, 
leave a comment. I'd love to talk to you guys about, you know, whether it's baseball or basketball, football, whether it's cards, the state of cards. Tell me about your collection. What's something you want to pull, have pulled, or want to buy? You may maybe an auction, you know, whether it's on eBay or pristine auctions or, you know, anywhere else you guys shop for cards, golden auctions. Um, for some from some stuff as well I was looking at their website today they had some pretty interesting lots right now they're selling the uh, one of the Honus Wagner cards they just sold a Kobe card which is officially now the 10th uh, most expensive card ever sold in auction uh, well over a million dollar card for Kobe uh, rookie which is why I'm sleeving these rookies and, and some of these other guys, right? Because <clears throat> maybe one of them will be the next uh, Kobe. You never know. I mean, obviously, you can't replace him, but you can. Uh, you could, people could still be great. So we got two more of these these heritage hangers that we're gonna open on this live stream the tonight, this morning, depending on where you are or what time you're watching. For me, it's almost 2 a.m. Eastern time, but that's not gonna stop me from opening these. Trying to see if I could do it without having to cut all this, but looks like I'm gonna have to. Like I said, this pack, one more pack, then we're gonna end the uh, the video. I appreciate everyone tuning in live, or if you're watching on YouTube, I appreciate that too. Just as much. <laughs> that Laddie Jr., that's a good start. Justin Dunn, some more rookie stars. The lesser of the Seeger brothers, Segura. Home run leaders, Pete Alonzo. Love Pete. Bryce Harper, Seth Lugo, Puck, Bieber, uh, Karnacki. Noah, Keichel, Tyler Maul, Trevor May, Juan Soto, Max Freed, Rich Hill, David Fletcher, New Age Performer card. It's kind of cool looking. Reese Hoskins, Mookie in action. Miggy, another Will Smith. It's like the third one of those Will Smiths we've pulled. Justin Upton, Willie Mays MVP for the World Series MVP. Uh, Marco Gonzalez, Kenley Jansen, Garrett Cole in action, Anthony Santander, Evan White, rookie card in action, I'm sleeving it, Max Muncy, Bo Bichette, I'm sleeving him too, James McCann, Christian Pache, in action, rookie, sleeving him, and Jose Barrios. So we'll throw a couple sleeves on, then we're going to open up the final pack of the live stream. I, I appreciate everyone who's tuning in to watch, thank you all so much means a lot to me that you would spend your time with me hanging out. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to drop them either in the live stream now or if you're watching on YouTube and anything you want to watch anything you want to ask or anything you want to talk about, feel free, let me know. I would be happy to answer you and start a conversation. So all I ask is you guys are respectful of one another in the comments or in the chat. It's too much nonsense in the world. We don't need to bring it here to the card community, which I mean if you've been following the news lately with, with Target and Walmart stopping uh, the sale of in-store cards, I mean, you know how crazy the community is. Um, somebody pulled a gun on, on people in a Target parking lot about a week or so ago. You know, so we don't, we don't need any neg more negativity. Can't stop watching. I appreciate that. <laughs> Your eyes are bleeding. <laughs> uh, I appreciate the love. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Last pack of the night. Let's see if we can get some last ma uh, last pack magic. We had some first pack magic. Pulling that Lonzo ball. But maybe we, uh, instead of some first pack magic, we get some last pack magic. Good luck. Bo Bichette, I'm sleeving him. McCann, Barrios, Pete Alonzo. I'm sleeving that one. That's cool. I don't care. NL pitching leaders. I sleeve what I like. It's not always about value for me. It's, it's about what I like. Uh, Brandon Workman, Pablo Lopez. It's, it, it's, it's about 
Ooh, I like Miguel Castro, too. I'm just leaving him. I don't care. I like him. Again, like I said, it's not always about, like, what's valuable, what can be resold, what's the potential. If I just like something, I'm throwing it in a sleeve. Guess what? It's my my money. I'm spending on sleeves. Here's a Tatis. Um, I'm, I'm throwing it in there. If I like somebody or, or, or like a card, whether it's for the player or the aesthetic of the card or the colors or the art or whatever, if I like something, I sleeve it. And if I really like it, sometimes I'll even top load it. And I know a lot of other uh, streamers, YouTubers, ah, former Matt, well, could have been. He, he was supposed to be so good. He just never panned out. Um, you know, a lot of other guys won't, 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 you know, top load or sleeve a lot of cards that I probably will, but I, I do, I do what I like, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a collector in the sense of I'm trying to flip these cards for money. I do this cause I like it. I do this cause I enjoy sports. I enjoy learn, learning more. I think it's a good way to learn about history and it's tangible, right? You can feel the cards in your hand. You can read the backs of them. You can learn about players. Um, it's a cool way to preserve and look at history. Um, so I sleeve them or, or and, and even top load them too. But, uh, you know, it's not always about the value. It's about just guys I like. Like I like Miguel Castro. Did he implode tonight for the Mets against the Rays in a 3-2 to two loss? Yeah, he did. But the rest of the season, the guy's been one of the most solid bullpen pieces in the league. You know, um, has electric stuff. Reminds me of vintage... Um, Familia for the Mets, where he's throwing 99, 100, 12 plus inches of break. You know, and it's like the, uh, the the Mets booth, best in baseball, by the way, for anybody who cares, on uh, my opinion, on bet booths in baseball. Um, they, they always said, you know, about a Familia, just aim it down the middle. You know, you, your, your stuff has so much break, just, just aim it down the middle. Because uh, it'll move so much. That uh, guys won't be able to hit it anyway, and uh, and I believe that with Castro, I think his stuff is that electric. Where if you just throw it down the middle, they're not going to be able to hit it. They're not going to be able to hit it. So, on that note, I'll leave you guys with Tatis. I don't know why he's not coming into focus. There he is. Now Tatis will be in focus. I will end this video. I'll leave this with. With you guys with Tatis, one of my favorite players. Hopefully he comes back off the uh, the COVID list soon and hits some more bombs. Uh, I don't care if he stole the sign off Bauer or not. I don't think he did. But whether he did or not, he still hit that ball a country mile. So I appreciate everyone tuning in this stream tonight or watching this on YouTube. I hope everyone has a great day or night, depending on when you're watching. And uh, please, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, follow the stream. And I uh, hope to see you all soon, talk to you all soon. Have a great day. Thank you so much.